All right, welcome back. I am Mr. Sean. This is my channel, and we are currently going through visual novel, Love at First Sight. So I hope you uh, have been enjoying the series because we're coming to a close. This should be the this should be the last episode. We'll see what comes up in the end. Um, currently, we're on a double date with Akemi and Tomo, off to a festival, and well, let's see where things pick up. That's so cute, Tomo. I want us to do that too. We can't. You already devoured your crepe, didn't you? Poor Kimmy. Let's find out then. <laughs> she wants to have a date scene, apparently, with Tomo. I refuse. <laughs> Was that him not having it? Suddenly, a great boom comes out of nowhere, and all four of us jump in surprise. Never mind. What the heck was that? I look for, I look toward the direction of the sound, but the crowd makes it impossible to locate its source. What indeed? Uh, what indeed? It was part of one of the performances we saw. Yeah, right. We saw a lot of people doing shows and stuff on our way in. Let's go over there and try to find them. Oh yeah. Well then, let's go, Sachi. Are you done with your crepe? Yeah, just one more bite. Seems like the rest of the day is going to be a lot of fun. I'll try to make it as fun for Sachi as I can. I like it when she smiles so much. Oh, we got a CG! <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so cute! <laughs> oh, that's a cute little heart shape out of nowhere, and she definitely looks adorable. Ruby side. Ah, okay, so. Going on to the bully side of things now. I'm seriously in a bad mood. I want to hit something. I'm in class, but I'm so pissed. I can't concentrate on what's being taught. Last weekend, they said there was some kind of event going on, so I went into town to check it out. What I saw there were really disgusted me. I saw another group of students from my school there. I'm not saying I hate them just because they come from my school, though. What disgusted me was that they were with one of my classmates, Usui Sachi. Of course, I couldn't start something there in a crowd of people. So I just beat the crap out of a trash can and went home. Huh, was that the uh, loud bang we heard? I hate those guys. That girl with only one eye, well, she's fun to kick around, but I don't hate her because of how she looks or anything. I hate her because she's a spineless insect. Even if I insult her, she never gets mad. Even if I grab her leg and trip her up, she never tries to fight back, never complains. Hell, she never even glares at me as she's scurrying away. The way I see it, there's no reason for me to stop anytime soon. She'll never ask anyone for help. She'll never even have friends who can help her. Wow, this is a total douchebag, isn't she? I hate her, but I love how she trembles when I hurt her. Oh, Rex. That's why she'll always be my punching bag. But lately, something's been getting between me and my punching bag. It was some second-year guy who I think only transferred in a few months ago. He's been sticking his nose where it doesn't belong. I doubt that weakling just asks for help from some um, upperclassman she doesn't even know. I bet he's just helping her because it makes him feel good about himself. Let's him feel like he's better than someone. But I don't care how much he needs to use her as his pathetic confidence booster. Oh, god dang. Uh... She didn't do anything to deserve that, the coward. She just got lucky. This weekend, she was with that second year guy and two others, and she looked so happy and made me sick. I've seen the other two who she was with before. I especially remember that a Kemi girl. In middle school, she came to a preacher to me about how I was so mean or some crap with that stupid white knight attitude. As soon as I found out she was in high school I was going to, I waited to see if she'd come at me again, but she never did. I doubt she wants anything to do with me anymore after what I did to her. But now, I feel like she's spit in my face. I'm running out of patience. Finally, the bell rings and school is over. Sachi's trying, going to try to be the first one out the classroom again, but today, I'm not letting her get away. I reach the doorway before her and stop her from leaving. Hey! Yes? Come here, I want to talk to you. I grab her arm before she can say anything and drag her out of the classroom. That, that, that hurts. 
I would normally start using here as my punch bag right there and there. But this time, I need to find someone where we won't be disturbed. School's over. And the only students on the stairway are those going to their club activities. I drag her to the door that leads to the roof and pin her there. Uh, stop, stop it, please. Did that little... Just try to talk back to me? What the hell did you say to me? I said, uh, um... Any resistance she wanted to show me at least out of her, and she shuts her mouth. Her white-eyed friends must have been trying to get her to stand up to me. Or something like that, I bet. I don't like that, and I'll let her know by driving my fist into her stomach several times. Great. Oh! Okay. <laughs> I don't know if there's going to be sound effects with that. Not great. This time, she also does a tick. So much for standing up to me. See, she'll never change. I shove her and she tumbles backwards. She comes tumbling down, something falls out of her pocket and it hits the ground with a clatter that echoes in the stairwell. Looks like it's her cell phone. She's got a new strap on it that I've never seen before. I pick it up from my left hand before she can move it to smash it against the ground. No! Oh. She stares at her phone like a retard. But her eye is suddenly on me, and it's full of rage. I've never seen such piercing anger glare. It stops me before I throw her phone. Her freakish eyeballs only making it worse. That eye seems to be brimming with courage. I've never seen it here before. Leave me alone already. She jumps back onto her feet, and I can tell she's not going to back down this time. What the? And gave back my phone. She's yelling now? I'm so surprised to hear a rage of voice at me that I can stand there stupidly for several seconds. Then the phone in my hand starts to ring. He's calling. Give it back to me. Like hell I'm gonna give it, let her have that. Give it back now. But she doesn't wait for me to move and marching up to me tries to snatch the phone out of my hand. No you don't. I shake her off and aim a punch at her face. And she tries to block it. Block it? I've never seen her fight back or try to protect herself like this before. She's no fighter, though. So even with this newfound energy, she can't stop me from driving my fist into her face. Uh, even though my blow connects, she stands her ground, barely letting out a sound and regaining her balance right away. Before I can pull my hand back, she grabs onto my wrist. Give it back! Again, she reaches for the phone in my left hand. Now that she's holding onto my right hand, I can't hit her as easily. I push into her shoulder with that arm she's latched onto and kick her left leg out from under her. She started leaning forward and reaching for her phone, so this easily throws her off balance. Eek! Reflexively I push her on, uh, Reflexively I push on her again and throw her onto the floor behind me. I turn around to follow the throw up with another punch. Or I try to. Oh, shit. We're on the stairway. There's no floor behind me. Wow, you're stupid. Like, <laughs> not knowing your surroundings very well. I had sent her flying with more force than I meant to use. Everything seemed to slow down as she flies down the stairs towards the landing far below her. Oh, crap. Oh, well, there's, <laughs> there's a little cliffhanger. Your side. Back to Mamaru, huh? Wait, Sachi's so not here yet. I thought you went to find her. I arrived at the shoe rack at the exit of the school building to find Tomo and Akeni waiting there. Today, like always, I went straight to the first year classroom to meet with Sachi. I couldn't find her any trace of her, though. Thinking I might have missed her, I headed there. Here. Maybe you just didn't notice... <sighs> Maybe you just didn't notice her in the crowd. No way, she would have said something to me. We never missed going home together. I don't think she went home early, either. Mm. Ah, hang on a sec. Kevin runs up to the passing student and asks her something. Someone she knows? Well, yeah. You've seen that girl before, haven't you? Kevin's asking her about Sachi chan Now that you mention it, I think I do. I sometimes see her when I go to meet Sachi in her classroom. Actually, she's in the same class, isn't she? Man, Kevin really does have a big network of friends. Whatever the student is telling her, Kevin suddenly looks worried and runs back to us. Maku! She said that after class, Sachan left the classroom with Rui Sachan. Sadakawa, where did they go? 
That much I don't know. Got gotta find her. Hey, Mamaru. Jeez. Well, I guess it'll be more efficient if we split up. Mamaru will probably be up going to the upper floor, so Kemi, you check the first floor. I'll search around the outside of the building. He's he's being very uh, upfront and uh, judicious. As well. <laughs> being very quick act, quick reacting is what I'm trying to get get out. Gotcha. Until now, Sakakawa's never actually tried to take Sachi anywhere, or at least Sachi's never told me that she has. I've got a bad feeling about this. I climb the stairs as quickly as I can. Wait, what am I doing? I just tried calling her before, searching blindly. Take out my phone while I'm running up the stairs and call Sachi. Of course, until she actually picks up, I can't do anything but search blindly. I pass the second floor by. These are, those are our classrooms, and if Sakakawa's going to take Sachi anywhere, it's not going to be anywhere near us. If she took Sachi outside the school, she would have to go past Tomo and Kemi, since they were waiting by the shoe rack. First floor has too much traffic going through it, so she wouldn't go through there. Given all that, it's possible that she took Sachi up to the third floor. Finally, I arrived at the top stairs of the third floor, but now what? There haven't been any clues that might point to where they've gone so far. Sachi hasn't answered her phone, but it must be ringing. I rest at the third floor landing, trying to figure out what to do next. I hear a ringtone coming from nearby. It's gotta be Sachi's. They must be close. It's coming from somewhere above me. I made to think of the stairway leading up to the roof where Sachi and I ate lunch together not so long ago. Give it back! I hear a voice cry out from the same direction. It's definitely Sachi. I spin up the stairway. The moment I turn on the midway landing between the two floors, I see Sachi fly down the stairs in front of me, and behind her is Sachikawa, arm outstretched. Watch out! I jump on the, up on the stairs, my body operating on instinct at this point. Eek! Sachi! My mind goes blank as my body dives forward, just barely managing to get my arms between Sachi and the floor, and the force of her falling brings us both down. It's not what I might be considered a graceful catch, but at least I stopped her from hitting her head. Sachi, are you okay? I get a hold of myself and manage to stand up before helping Sachi to her feet. S Senpai, you came for me. Yeah, are you hurt? I hit my knee, but I think I'm fine otherwise. There's a few punches to your stomach that Ruby did as well. Um, I don't think those were uncomfortable, but go on. Guess I couldn't completely protect her, but she grimaces as she lets go of me and tries to stand on her own. As I, took, as I look her over and check for other injuries, the first thing I notice is a bruise on her face that she didn't have when we met for lunch today. It doesn't look too bad, though, so we can deal with that later. Okay, well, right now, I, I think we need to get you to the school nurse. Senpai, are you okay? Yeah, don't worry about me. I could completely support her when I caught her. I her way brought my arms down to bang against the floor. That, of course, hurt like hell. But I can't show any weakness right now. I'm not screaming in pain, at least. So there's probably no permanent damage anyway. Hey, Sadakawa. I look, I lock my pain down and turn to face Sadakawa, who's still standing at the top of the stairs. If I hadn't been here, Sachi would probably have gotten seriously injured or worse. Like I care. It's an accident anyway. But she looks away from me as she says it. When Sachi was falling, it did look like Sadakawa tried to reach out for her. So she probably isn't lying about that. But that doesn't make her any less responsible. Now, I'm sure she's the only responsible for that new mark. I'm sure she's also responsible for that new mark on Sachi's face. Stop bullying Sachi. Yeah, why would I listen to you? Because you almost got her killed just now. What do you think will happen to you if I tell a teacher or your parents what you did? Yeah, if you don't leave me alone, I'll make sure everyone knows about what you're doing. Sachi doesn't treat me, retreat behind me. She just stands her ground, looking Sadakawa in the eye. Wait a minute. I totally screwed the voices up there, sorry. Are you threatening me? You've got some nerve. Sadakawa walks down several steps, advancing towards Sachi menacingly. I just want you to stop doing this. Sachi doesn't look back away as Sadakawa approaches. I can't stop. I can't stand with things like you. And I refuse to let someone as pathetic as you do as you please. And I'll tell. But I won't let you snitch on me. If you do, there'll be trouble. What are you saying? I'm... Going to disappear? What? Uh... Huh? I'm saying I'm going to leave the school. It's not like I have any friends here. I can't mess with you anymore. So there's no point in me being here. 
I'll transfer to a different school. My parents don't give a shit anyway. Well, okay. You don't, you don't have to go that far. Shut up. I can't even stand to be around here anymore. I can't let you stitch on me, so I'm leaving. Got it. Wow. Sadakawa Princess Sachi phone into her hand before heading down the stairs. We watch her go and keep staring at the stairwell. Even after she's gone, both of us are completely dumbfounded by what we just just what happened. Yeah, it's what So she thinks she just Hey, screw it, I'll just go to their school. Well, and being being that it's Japan it could be easy, much easier to change schools like that, whereas the United States is more defined as to what schools you can go to by area. But even so, god dang. Quite an attitude girl on that girl. After a while, Tomo and Kimi appear on the stairs and place of Sadakawa. Omoru, Sachi-chan, are you guys all right? We just we just passed Ruchan chan on the stairs. Was she here? Yeah, she was. I I don't know what just happened, to be honest, but she said that she, she'll stop following Sachi. She also said that she hated her and was going to change schools. Wait, Ruchan chan said that? Yeah, I don't know if she's serious or not. There's no way that's going to happen. Why not? Didn't Sadakawa say she was going to change schools in middle school as well, Kenny? It was for a similar reason, too, I think. What the hell? I don't want to talk to her. Kevin rushes down the stairs, and we can hear her stomping down the hallway even after she steps out of sight. Hey, Akemi. Jeez, that girl. Yeah, you better follow her. <laughs> Tomo follows her down the stairs. Will Akemi somehow be okay? Tomo's the one I'm worried about. Well, whatever. Sadakawa says she was going to transfer to another school, but I wonder if that really is the e that easy, you know? Yeah. At least I can do more than just cry now. Very true. Did a good job, girl. Yeah, you stood up to her. I was amazed, honestly. You're completely different from the, when we first met. It's all thanks to you, senpai. You gave me way too much credit. In the end, you're the one who stood up to her, not me. Even so, thanks for everything you've done. For helping me change. For finding me. You know, this is where we first met, isn't it? We haven't come back in here a long time, have we? We haven't come back in here a long time, have we? Yeah, lately we've been having lunch on the second floor with Akemi and Tomo. I'm really grateful to you, Senpai. She has changed. Yes, she, has, she hasn't been stuttering nearly as much as when we first met, and she smiles a lot more as well. And when we talk, she looks right at me instead of, well, anywhere else. But that eye of hers never changed. It stayed, right, it stayed bright and shining this whole time, and I can't get it out of my mind. We stand there in silence for a while, I gaze into her eyes, she gazes into mine. Hey. Yes? You know, if she doesn't leave the school, I don't think she'll be hurting you anymore. I think you're right. I'm not the living she thought I was anymore. And when push came to shove, you really were there for me, Senpai. You saved me. I guess that means your wounds are finally going to heal. Yeah, I guess so. Do you want to touch them? While I still have them, I mean. Sure. Okay. Sachi so closes her eye and presses his body into mine, just like last time. Hmm. But it's selfish of me. Maybe it's selfish of me. Uh huh. What's he gonna do, I wonder? Hmm. Maybe it's selfish of me, but I've been waiting for this. I put my right hand on her shoulder, just like last time. But this time, I don't put my hand on the scar of her brow. Instead, while her eyes still closed, while she's so vulnerable, I put my free hand under her chin and lift her head up before putting my lips to hers. I let her lips touch for a mo only a moment, just enough for Sachi to feel it, and she rears back a little, blinking at me in astonishment. That was unfair, you know. Yeah, I know. Sorry. D do it again. Do it right this time. Now we're even, I think. Her eye has caught me in a spell, and I couldn't refuse her even if I wanted to. I take her by the shoulder again as we slowly come together. Her eye is open this time. Aww. Just as I feel myself being drawn into her eye, I draw her body close to me. And I collapse because of the injuries. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> Aww. Let's sip you tone there. That's a nice little picture. Oh, and here's the end. Alright, so... That's a pretty cute little story. I mean, 
just a, just a read through. You had no options to choose what you wanted. Um, actually, if you go to the, from what I understand, if the author actually wanted to have it to be a choose your own adventure type deal, or decisions actually made or break the story towards good ends or bad ends, and but things happen and didn't happen that didn't come out that way. So, but even so, this is. A beautiful story, really enjoyable. A lot of cute CGs like that one, and sadly that one. But <laughs> definitely had a really good time with this story, and really enjoyed the characters. Although, other than uh, of course Rui is the bad character, but uh, just a weird attitude. And I don't know this. Great. Obviously, Rui is just doing it because she could be a bully, not because. She hate, hated the guts of Sachi, but still, just to think that her parents don't care, and she could just say, hey, I want to change schools, and she'd be like, okay, sure, what the heck. I'm not going to even ask why the pro there's a problem, why there should be a change of schools. I mean, it seems a little, at, seems a little odd, but I'm sure it can certainly happen. But, it's, you know, it's some, it's some places, some schools. Okay, so in the extras, there is the after episode. I'm guessing EP is episode. <laughs> Family talk. Let's, think, let's go through these real quick. It's late in the afternoon. Sachi should be... Oh, it's Mayumi. It's late in the afternoon. Sachi should be home from school soon. Sachi's wounds seem to have healed quite a bit lately. And she doesn't seem to be getting any more. I'm sure it's because Mamoru-kun has been protecting her. And I've been trying harder than before to have conversations with her. Well, she's... However, she rarely talks about school or her studies when we're together. She mainly talks about Mama Raccoon and her new friends. And I said that, I usually am the one who initiates conversations. She still doesn't try to talk with me on her own. Perhaps it's because she thinks I am disinterested, as I often reply only with simple nods or other kinds of small affirmations. Affirmations. I cannot let this continue. I am Sachi's guardian. I must be there to support her when she needs me to. I know you told her, but that's really... That's what's really on my mind, but it's something I must do. Besides, there are many other reasons why we need to be able to talk to each other now. I thought it was last. I thought it through last night, and decided that today is the day that I will talk to Sachi about this. To that end, I've been waiting by the doorway for her to come home for nearly an hour. I was thinking about how to approach her while I waited, but I still don't have a solution. It's childish of me to be so apprehensive, but even so, I have to talk to her. If I do not, I'm sure that our relationship will never change. I'm still rolling over when Sachi and Mamoru Kun finally come into the view. I have no time to decide. The most important things are that I tell her now how I feel and that I hear how she feels. I'm sure it will be a step in the right direction, even if it's only a small step. Good afternoon, Mamoru Kun. Welcome home, Sachi. Hello, Miyumi son. Hello, Aunt Miyumi. Is something wrong? I just wanted to speak with you a moment, Sachi. You do? I should get going. See you tomorrow, Sachi. Oh, yeah, see you tomorrow. Mamoru-kun, being the considered young man that he is, makes his exit. Um, so, what do you want to talk about? You see, what I really want to talk to you about, well, you probably think it's silly, but I've been thinking about it for quite some time. Will you hear me out? Y yes, of course. I wonder if she has any idea what I'm about to say, just by the serious expression I'm wearing. I'm talking to her now, just as I planned. I must have confidence. Thank you. Well, of course. The truth is that I'd like you to stop calling me Aunt Mayumi. Okay. What? I know I'm not as young as I once was, but I think I like to think that I'm still not that old. Oh. <laughs> uh. Uh. But of course, when you want, want, when you call me your aunt. It makes me feel very old. I'm still only in my twenties. So could you at least call me Mayumi san instead? Oh, okay, um Mayumi san. Thank you. Do you have anything you want to say to me? Anything you want to ask me? Um is that all you want me to say, uh, uh or Mayumi san? I did. But don't worry about that. There's nothing that you want to say. There's must be something you want me to hear. Well, it's kinda of hard to th think of anything when you put it on me on a spot like that. Yeah, it's sort of odd. It's like, I see. Well, if you do have anything you ever want to tell me, please 
Don't be afraid to. Okay. Finally. That was the first time I ever told her how I truly feel. Come on, Miami. Really? <laughs> I think there could have been a little bit more to that. Uh, just say a little more. I mean, come on. It's the first time I've been able to say what I wanted to tell her for so long. I did everything I needed to. Overall, it's not a bad performance, I'd say. Well, I suppose we should go inside then. You're right. I think this is the first time I've ever seen the Unison smile. Okay, a few extra things that came along to make things better for the family life. Girls talk. Sai! I can't sit by. I understand you're looking so depressed. What's wrong? Nothing, it's just. I can't believe Ruchan is actually changing schools. Ah, I'm going through with it, huh? Sadakawa-san? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bring her up in front of you. No, it's okay. Were you friends with Sadakawa-san? I can't believe Senpai. I wouldn't go that far. We just went to the same school, middle school, and I fought her this one time. You fought her? Wait! Didn't you have another fight with her the other day you went chasing after her? You got into a fight again? Ah, I remember you got really hurt. How are you feeling now? Oh, jeez. Don't underestimate me. Hey, don't underestimate me. I pretty much got away with that scratch. Tell me, your senpai told me you did get hurt, though. Well, I mean, physically. It was a huge shock to learn she actually left, you know. I really wanted to talk to her about leaving. But yeah, we ended up fighting in the end. I was a little, su I was a little surprised when I heard that. I didn't think you would be the kind to begin in a fight. Well, I'm almost perfect. But I do have some flaws, Sachan. You really are amazing when you're serious, though, Kevin Senpai. I've heard you were a surprisingly good athlete and you got good grades, too. Sachan! Surprisingly! When I'm serious! What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> <laughs> Poor girl! Oh, man. Huh? No, I mean, I'm, I, I admire you. I didn't mean anything weird by that. I was just repeating what Mamoru Senpai told me. Um, Sachan, you really mean it? It makes big sis so happy. You're much, much freer than those other two. Anything I can do to repay you for what you've done? Sacha, I don't want to hear anything you say like that. You don't owe me anything at all. Well, I hear you get good grades too, but you're not a very athletic person, right? Yeah, I'm not really cut out for physical activities. Don't say that. Oh, I know. Why don't you join some physical activities? How about the ballet club? I can help you get started. Um... S sorry, I... Run fast, Sachi. Run faster. No. Oh, uh, well. I can't force you to do anything after all. Like I said, physical things are... I mean, I don't... You don't? If if I join a club, I won't be able to go home with Namuru Senpai after school anymore. Oh my! What a lovely double couple you two are. You really do love each other, don't you? I saw some redness pop up even further... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Got the girl. <laughs> yes, my moral senpai is so nice to me. You're the one to mock is nice, too. He doesn't treat me even half as well as he treats you. But you, two, you two seem to have a great relationship. Or at least I think you two do. To be honest, I feel a little jealous sometimes. Uh, jealous? Are you a masochist, Sachan? So you want Maku to bully you then? No, that's not a bit. Oh, ho! Now I'm the one blowing touch on. <laughs> Why are you so excited about that? Don't. Don't try that. Don't think about it, Sasha. Don't. No. Like I said, just just run. I'm not joking. It's so cute that you're so embarrassed by the fact that you and Mama Kuhn have such a sweet relationship. Oh. And no matter how much I meddle in your relationship, you always seem to be so happy. Usually you, deny, you never deny what I'm saying, even if it's totally wrong. You're getting flustered or embarrassed no matter how much I try. And I so always feel like I'm losing to you somehow. I didn't mean to make you feel like that. Well, I guess it's that just that hell reality Ugh. Well I guess it's just that reality of you two being a couple of anyway, you guys aren't having trouble with your relationship, right? Trouble? Not really. Well, I mean Oh, are you sure? It, it's nothing big but what is it? What is it? Come on, tell your big sis. Senpai hasn't been as affectionate lately. 
Is that all? Come on, there must be something else. Wh what? Aren't you two always clinging to each other? But they've only been holding hands. Ask a couple who's only holding hands. Seems like a good couple to me. What more do you want? Maybe if he um, rubbed my hand or my forehead more. <laughs> uh, that's the kind of affection you mean? Yes, when, like when he used to touch my scars. I still have some, but... Huh? What do you mean? Kemi, just run. <laughs> just run, Kemi. Don't get pulled in by this. Don't stop. No. No. Oh, no. I mean, he used to, um, you know, rub my, the scars on my hand, my forehead. He doesn't do it anymore. Uh, sorry, I just don't really get it. Well, I mean, touching my scars is... Sa uh, Sachi. Mm. <laughs> oh, no. Boys talk about... Uh, let's go through this see what happens. <laughs> oh. I don't hear you sigh very often. Do your wounds still hurt? Somewhat. What a disaster, though. I should have gone with you. I really didn't think Kami was going to start a fight when she chased after Sadakawa. No, Sachi needed you. It was right for you to stay with her. Well, I say that, but trying try to stop them all on my own didn't exactly end well. Yeah, and you got the scrapes and bruises to prove it. No kidding. Though Kami walked away without a single mark, and Sadakawa didn't have any major injuries either, right? Why were you the only one that got so banged up? Well, I tried to hold one of them back. The other would take the opportunity to try and attack even though I was in the way. Not that I could have stopped them any other way, of course. If, you're, if only one person stopped the fight, not much is going to happen. Nothing good. Oh, is that what happened? Did I ever tell you about how they fought in middle school? It basically turned out the same way, although my injuries were much lighter back then compared to now. It's the same situation though, right? Why were your injuries worse this time? It's just because they're both bigger and older now. And both of them are physically fit. They can throw some mean punches. Seems like it. Well, I, I guess you feel Sachi's role since you're the one covered in bruises now. Yeah, right. If you try to touch my bruises, I will punch you back. Sadakawa really is going to change schools though. I guess we don't have to worry about anyone getting beat up anymore. Mm, probably. Why well, I just probably... Again, you know, last time this happened, she gave up on Sadakawa right away. But I'm not sure it's going to be that simple this time. She'll probably keep trying to change Sadakawa right up until she actually does transfer. It's pretty much in inevitable that something's going to happen between them now. Seriously, that's a problem? Why are you grinning like that? You're going to have to help me deal with it when it finally happens. It does. When it does happen. <sighs> Sorry. Sorry. And yeah, that definitely will help. But by the way, you were just talking now. It sounded like you guys were having a lover spat. Yeah, well, someone's got to be there to look out for her. Hmm. Hmm. Man, she's really got a hold on you. Don't you know that? Probably. But not as bad as you are with Sachi Chan. Yeah, I guess not. The four of us are a good match, though, aren't we? You two do like a couple to me after all. I told you to stop saying that. But you're having a problem denying it. Anyway, there might still be another beating in my future. But at least your beloved Sachi Chan doesn't have to be wor worried about anymore. You only said that once before, and don't try to change that subject. Just keep out of it. That's all I'm asking. Yeah, yeah, alright. Sorry. Anyway, uh, Sachi, you know, I mean, her scars are pretty much healed by now. They're going to disappear, right? Yeah, isn't that a good thing? Yeah, it is, but, you know... What are you trying to say? Nothing, just... What, if you want advice, just spit it out already. It's really nothing important. It's, it's going to sound weird to say it out loud. Don't say it, dude. Don't say it. Come on, no. Don't worry, I won't tell anyone, no matter how weird it is. Tomo. It's just going to sound like I'm trying to find an excuse to grope Sachi. 
before her scars completely heal. I want to ask her if she'll let me touch them. What? You want to touch her scars? No, she wants me to touch them, so I'm going to ask if she'd let me. And you want to use that as an excuse to fill her up? <laughs> oh. No, no, nothing like that. I really don't get it, but are you saying you're more interested in touching her scars than in touching her? Yes, that's number one. That's the number one thing here. What's more important? No, well, I mean, look. All right, let's see what happens with the couple. Uh, we're in Tobo's room. This is my first time being in someone else's room. I feel like I'm intruding. No, it's fine. Just think of it as your own room. Relax. But it's Tomiyori Senpai's room. Well, yeah, but both Kimmy and I hang out here and here all the time. You mentioned that, yes. Right. Well, the more you come here, the more comfortable you'll start to feel. We can all go to my house later, too. I feel even more nervous than to be treating in your room. There's nothing to be nervous about. What would you feel more comfortable in the Kimmy's room? Actually, to be honest, I've never even been in there. We've only gathered at yours or Tomoyori Senpai's house, haven't we? Well, a girl's room would be kind of... I mean, Tomo's known Akemi for a long time. He's probably been in there, but... Kind of think of it, he's been gone for a while, hasn't he? I thought he just went to meet Akemi Senpai. Yeah, you're right. Maybe they'll show up to... Maybe some slapstick comedy act or something. Just randomly. He'll probably end up with more bruises that way. <laughs> He got dragged into Sadako Sun and Kimmy Senpai's fight, right? He's more beat up than I am now. Hey, uh, your wounds are mostly healed now, right? I guess I don't have to do anything weird like touch them anymore, right? <laughs> but I really want. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Don't worry. I'm really close to so I'm sure he'll fall down and make some new ones at some point. Don't be so clumsy, girl. I'm not sure why you're telling me not to worry about that. Are you, uh, really that clumsy? Yes, I am. That was a weird sound. Yes, I am. Actually, not anymore. Not, I'm not a Kimmy right now. God dang it. Yes, I am. Actually, not all my wounds are healed yet, you know. Oh, really? Are you going to touch them? Mm, so cute. But that... Isn't that kind of weird? Why do you say that? Why? Well, no, it's fine. It's just when I talked to Tomo about it, he gave me a really weird look. Actually, I talked to a Kemi senpai about it too. She didn't really get it either. You talked to a Kemi? You talked to Tomo Ori senpai. We probably should tell anyone about this. Probably? Yeah, probably not. Yeah. So. Do you want to touch them? Uh, well, um, are you sure? Yes. But the bruises on your face are gone. All the obvious ones have healed, haven't they? Well, yes, but you don't have to... You don't normally see them on a skirt. Excuse me? There's a... Oh, okay. There's um, still a pretty big one on my calf. Okay... Handsy operation about to begin. So, remember your stretching exercises. Put your, put your hands together, fingers apart, put them in between. Give a nice little stretch through the arms, through the shoulders. Oh, yeah, hold that for a few seconds. Let's keep just skipping ahead, but just go ahead and pause for t 10 seconds and stretch, you know. Welcome back. Now, grab your hand like straight out in front of you, twist it far to the inside as you can. Gently grab with your right hand and pull. Do that for a few more seconds. Other hand, same deal, inside. Gently pull, don't want to do it roughly, it'll hurt you otherwise. Now, put your finger on the back side of your, of your one wrist, one hand, excuse me. Grab the thumb, pull, push outwards, and pull gently. Same with the other side, thumb, just Thumb like right, right, right around here. Put your thumb there. Grab your thumb. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. This handsy session is going to be so good. Now that we stretched out. Oh, yeah. It feels so good. Okay. Let's get to it. Uh, 
Under your skirt? Okay, go ahead. Sachi? I'm back. Sorry it took so long. I went to meet our resident idiot, Akemi, and... Excuse me. <laughs> Don't mind me. I'll I'll let you do your thing, and I'll stay out of the room. Huh? Why do you stop, Tomo? Are we in there? Aren't they in there? No, no one's there. What? No, Tomo. Wait, you got it all wrong. You got the wrong idea. Oh my gosh. All right. So down in the comments, <laughs> down in the comments, leave. How's your reaction to all this wonderful storyline? So it's definitely a little bit extra long to go through the extra stuff, but uh, if you stuck around, thank you very much for listening to me, listening to this narration and go through the storyline with me for love at first sight. Uh, if you have more suggestions for visual novels, put it down below. Um, I'm going to shake it up for a little bit. I've done technically I've done two visual, visual novels now. Um, I want to try to do an actual game. I have a, I have my new crack, the new, the game that makes you, th a game that made me lose an entire weekend, um, holy cow, I want to try to run through it, I'm not going to do a full run through of it, I'm just going to show you what it is, what I've done, and how I've lost a lot of time of my life, that I will never get back, but I enjoyed it, I loved it, so I want to do that, do that real, real quick next time uh, for a Let's Play. Um, please hit like if you like this video, if you like the whole series in general, and thank you for watching. Please hit subscribe for more videos, for Let's Plays, for unboxings, for some anime related content which I've been wanting to do and I'm still thinking about, still grinding my wheels of how to provide it, how to spit it out, so to speak, put it out there on YouTube. So look forward to those, look forward to more cooking this weekend. Ciao!